The RAM Connection Standalone Program is a great tool to use if you don't have a model generated already, if you're just wanting to check a few connections, or if you just want to check a connection that a detailer gave you in your shop drawings. Getting started, we'll start here by creating a new joint. You specify the joint type here, BCF means beam to column flange. Then you can give it a description, like a piece mark. Specify your beam section, your column section, and then tab over to the loads, where you can specify, in this case, we'll just specify 10 kips of dead load shear and 15 kips of live load shear. Then you see a quick snapshot of the connection, and you're ready to start assigning. To assign a connection, if you know what you have, you can come over here on the bottom right to the list of different types of connections, specify the type by double-clicking on it, and assign it to this joint. In this case, this is a bent plate that's a half inch thick with three bolts that are 7 8 inch diameter. Once you specify that, the program will tell you if that works or not. Or we can come to the Design tab and assign a type of a connection where the program is going to pick from a list the most optimal connection. In this case, we'll pick a single plate connection, and the program will assign it. After the assignment has been made, press the Edit button to view that connection in more detail. The connection pad will open to the 3D view of the connection again, which you can rotate around to take a further look at. The program also will generate a DXF view of each connection. This 2D snapshot of the connection can be exported to DXF so that it can be used in your CAD package. On the left hand side is the data panel, so all the information about the connection is contained here. If you want to change anything at any time, I can switch to maybe 4 volts, and you can see on the bottom right my status stays at green. If I change to something that does not work, then my status will change to either yellow or red. After I've um, reviewed these graphical inputs, for this connection, I can view, review the reports. There are two reports that the program generates, the data report, which is simply a text echo of the DXF, or the results report. As you can see, all of our reports can be exported to a text file, Word, or Excel, or of course printed directly from here. Our results report is going to start with geometric checks and then go through some design checks each one showing you the capacity and the demand as well as the interaction ratio for each check and at the bottom the critical strength ratio. If I wanted to see more details about a certain calculation, for instance this bolt shear capacity, what goes into making the 47.74, at the top I can click view formulas. Everything will be expanded out including all the details of how the program came up with that value. So that's a simple shear connection. We'll close this out and maybe talk a little bit about some lateral connections. I'll take this guy and I can copy it, this time adding in some moment here, 30 kip feet. If I need to design for seismic provisions, either for your moment frames or your brace frames, underneath the design configuration in the assignment menu, I can select consider seismic provisions and specify my design category. Then, you'll see on the joint input screen, now you have the option of specifying your seismic load resisting system. Is it this part of an ordinary, intermediate, or special moment frame? If it's part of a special moment frame, you also have the option of specifying an RBS or dog bone connection. Then, after we've specified our seismic provisions, we can come and ask the program to assign maybe our moment connection. So in this case, I'll pick flange plates. This time I've got a red light. Again, by double clicking on the connection, usually I'll go to the results page and I can see what about this connection is not working. You can see for a few of the FEMA 350 checks, my flange plate thickness that I have specified is just not adequate. So I can come back to the data panel and make those changes accurately. The program will also check my support to see if stiffeners or doublers are required. This calculation can be performed for a moment frame, as I mentioned, as well as braced frames. The program also includes base plate connections. To specify one of these, I'll select the CB type, 
we can specify uh, the column section. It can be a wide flange tube or pipe. And then we can specify our loads. They may have moments on them or just axial loads. And then we can come into the design tab and assign a base plate connection. When complete, I can review the same types of results, including the anchor bolt design per Appendix D.